Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, grade 8 students. I am Sir Stephen, but you can call me Sir Steve or Sir Stiff. I am your class advisor, and I will be your English teacher for today's lesson and for the entire school year 2020-2021 in your English subject. Okay, let us now begin our lesson. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Alright, let us now start our lesson. For the English 8, Quarter 1, Module 1, the title will be Noting Context. For today's lesson, the most essential learning competency covered here is okay, determine the meanings the meaning of words and expressions that reflect the local culture by noting context clues so this will be our most essential learning competency meaning to say uh, our lesson for today will revolve around context clues okay let us begin with the what I know activity so choose the meaning of the underlined words using context clues. Write the letter of your answer on your paper. Number one, all medical practitioners, including the army and police forces, are our frontliners in this pandemic. Thus, they lead in fighting against the COVID-19 disease. In determining meanings of unfamiliar words, context clues uh, can help us easily find out the answer for any a question like this. All we have to do is to look for clue words within the sentence, just like this one. The clue word here is lead. So frontliners lead. Hence, if the choices are A followers, B leaders, C observers, D participants. Which among them do you think is the answer? Very good. That is letter B, leaders. This is how we use context clues. Now, what is a context clue? Have we ever experienced difficulty in getting the meaning of unfamiliar words from a poem? How do you know the meaning of these words? Do you consult Google or the dictionary immediately? Wait up, there's more. The poem that you are about to read will teach you how to get the meaning of unfamiliar words through context, context without using any references. Wow, that's amazing. So even if you don't use the dictionary, you can identify or you can determine the meaning of unfamiliar word through context clues. Get ready because you are in for a ride. The title of the poem is Context Clues by Maribel Azote Cabalan Buco. Tick tock, tick tock, I am stuck. How can I unlock? How can I unlock? When unfamiliar words are the ones that block. Strategize, strategize, vocabulary wise. Familiarize, familiarize the words that arise. Hints here, signals there, clues are everywhere. Categorize, conceptualize, and then contextualize. Context clues are the ones that guide. Now, what can you say about the poem? Do you find difficulty in understanding the poem? In understanding the poem? Aside from using the dictionary, another way of learning the meaning of an unfamiliar word is through noting context clues. Okay, let us now define context clues. When we say context clues, these are words that appear in sentences to help understand the meanings of difficult words, just like my example previously. So we can find what we call clue words. These clue words may lead you to identifying the correct meaning of an unfamiliar word. A while back, the unfamiliar word is frontliners. But then again, you have seen the word lead. So frontliners lead. So meaning to say, they are leaders. You get it? So we have different types of context clues. We have 
context clues by definition, context clues by synonym, context clues by antonym, and context clues by comparison. Let's have them one by one. When we say context clues by definition, in, in the word where the unfamiliar word is found, it is already defined. So you have to recognize, you just have to look for the definition, for the meaning. Example, a treasure hunter is a person who searches for treasures from sunken ships and ancient tombs to obtain valuable relics and artifacts. So what's the meaning of treasure hunter? It's a person who searches for treasures. So you have it already in your sentence. Okay? Number two, definition by context clues by synonym. So when we say synonym, it's a word with the same meaning. Hmm? Let's have an example. It is common for Filipinos to feel compassion or pity for the suffering of their fellow, fellow men. So we have the conjunction or, meaning to say in Filipino it means o kaya. So when we say compassion, compassion o kaya pity. Meaning to say, the meaning of compassion is pity. Okay? Number three is the opposite of number two. So when we say synonym, it's the same meaning. When we say antonym, it's the opposite meaning. Example, among the siblings of thin body structure, Isabel is the only one who is portly. Okay? So when we say portly, it means thin. It's the opposite of thin. Okay? I repeat, it's the opposite of the word thin. Now, by comparison. So, when we say comparison, it's uh, context clues wherein a similar word with the same meaning of the unfamiliar word is placed with an object to be compared. So, we use an object to compare its meaning. Example. Uh -huh. Another is by example. So we have another set of context clues. Context clues by example, context clues by explanation, and context clues by cause and effect. So when we say context clues by example, an example is already given in the sentence. So upon seeing it, you can define the difficult word. For the example, for the context clues by example, we have this example. We have this example. Wow. Example, example. Poor example. So in ancient times, some of our forefathers believed in uh, amulets such as pearl of the crocodile, pearl of the axe, bullet necklace, and bag of herbs to protect them from harm. So the meaning of amulets here is, uh, of course we have example, such as pearl of the crocodile, pearl of the axe, and so on. So these are examples of the word amulets. Our number six type of context clue is context clue by explanation. In here, a description is given to understand the meaning of the unfamiliar word. So a description is given. Example, Matthew had few infractions. So the word to define is infractions. Uh, Matthew had few infractions of the house rules that he should have done as part of his responsibilities. So what is the word infraction? Okay, the explanation from the sentence is that house rules that he should have done. Okay. Uh -huh. So he he did some violations of the house rules that he should have done. Mm, okay, I got it. So we are explaining it. And the number seven, of course, one of the easiest. Uh, cause, effect, context clue. So we could see the cause and we could see the effect, the, the reason and the output. The meaning of the difficult word depends on the cause-effect relationship of other words as expressed in the sentence. Example, since only a few followed the wearing of mask, it was made mandatory by the government. Okay, so the effect is uh, wearing mask was made mandatory. So what does mandatory mean? Okay, the cause of this effect is that only a few follow the wearing of mask. You get it? So it was the effect of the... Uh, it was the effect. It, uh, it was the cause of the effect. So since uh, only few people are following the rules and wearing the mask, they're hard-headed, so they made it mandatory. 
Another types of context clues are context clues by list or series of clues and context clues by inference. So for number eight, context clue by list or series of clues. To understand the meaning of the unknown word, it is included in a series of words given in a sentence. So there are words enumerated. And from this enumerated series of words, you can identify the meaning of the unfamiliar word. Example, after the program, the, rub the rubbish left, uh, left were souvenir programs, flyers, leaflets, plastic, bottles, and food wrappings. Okay, so what what were enlisted were souvenir programs, flyers, leaflets, plastic bottles, food wrappings. So from this series of words, we can now understand what is the meaning of the word rubbish. Okay. Number nine by inference. To understand the meaning of the unknown word, one has to make a guess. So when we say inference, we are guessing, we are making hula. So we are guessing based on the description given in the sentence. When one shows belligerence, harsh words, disruptive actions, and offensive behaviors can be observed. So what does this mean? So when we say belligerence, the, the descriptions are, these are harsh words, disruptive action, or offensive behavior. Oh, it's bad. It's very bad. Alright, so again, those are the different types of uh, context clues. Let us again enumerate them. Definition, a context clues by definition, context clues by synonym, context clues by antonyms, context, context clues by comparing or comparison, context clues by example, context clues by explanation, context clues by cause effect, context clues by list or series of clues, and number nine, context clues by inference. Alright? I hope you have understood them. If not, you can repeat my video over and over again, or you can read and try to translate the words you may find in your module. Now, are you ready for our test? Let us now begin. So let us continue to the activities and exercises. For what's more activity one, look out. So all you have to do here is search for the given words in the puzzle below. So here is the puzzle. So you have to search for the 15 words given. Mallet, shiver, and so on. Let's see if we could find one. Okay, I cannot find one because the puzzle is cut. It's up to you, okay? Just look for the words. They can be upward, downward, left, right, sideward, backward, and diagonal position. Okay, sorry if my camera moved. Okay, moving forward to activity two. So let us define the words you identify in the puzzle. So you have to really figure out the meaning of each italized word. Write the letter of your answer on your paper. Number one, in the Tower of the Great Bell, now the mallet is lifted to smite the lips of the metal monster, the vast lips inscribed with Buddhist texts. So what does the word mallet mean? Mallet. So it's like a hammer. So the answer is letter D. To smite is to caress, cut, hit, or touch. What do you do with a hammer? Of course, we do it in hitting. Okay. Next, activity two, web it. Uh, here, here it's more of an application. So you have to give the five types of context clues we discussed just a while back. And then you have to write them here on the spaces given. And write your own example on your papers already. Okay? Do not answer in this module. Assessment number two, think of me. Filipinos are known for being strong and facing challenges. That's very true. No matter how challenging, no matter how tough, the problem is we can get through it because we are very strong. Write a paragraph about how you face your greatest challenges using one or more types of context clues. So share your own experiences. What were the what were the, the, the challenges and the problems you have encountered in the past? Okay? And then you can use one or more types of context clues. Activity three, read on. Read the selections below and take note of the culture being presented. So there are two 
selections here, A and B. So read them and then answer the questions and write your answers on the space provided. Uh, should I say on your clean sheets of paper? What is the passage about who are more exposed to the virus? Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Answer the following questions based on the selections above. Questions 1 to 2 refer to selection A, and questions 3 to 5 refer to section B, selection B. So there are actually two selections here. I just did not present the, the second selection. You can find it in your module. And then answer the following sent questions. How is Bionian spirit manifested in the passage? Relate the life experiences where Bionian is apparent in your community. And what makes Asian people strong and intelligent? Okay? Contextualize it. Determine the meaning of the underlined words based on the context by choosing the letter of your answer. So read the sentences and then identify the meaning of the underlined word through context clues. My reflection, activity two. Reflect on the culture imparted by the story in the following questions. Write your ideas in paragraph four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And assessment part. I think you have had this in the pre previous activity, so you can answer them already. So, number one, frontliners. The answer is, of course, leaders. And additional activity so that you can master the competency on noting context clues. Identify the meaning of the underlined words by writing the letter of your answer. At the end of the 21st century, this pandemic will still be remembered because of its big effect to humanity, like the Spanish influenza in 1918. Alright, what does century mean? 10 years, 50 years, 100 years, 1000 years. Okay, it's letter C, 100 years. So you can continue answering the other activities. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have understood your lesson with the help of my video. If not, just feel free to repeat over and over and over again this video so that you can understand it. Okay. Please do not forget to follow me in my accounts. Instagram, uh, Instagram, Twitter account, and then my FB account. Once again, thank you very much. Good night and see you again in our next virtual lesson. Bye-bye. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.